Hello everybody, I'm Yarl Carl, and welcome to episode 34 of my Chess Basement series. Uh, I left the game idle a little bit before I began recording today, and hopefully there are some skeletons downstairs in our little trap that we can whack. Forest mix speed. And there are. I came down here a couple minutes ago to whack a couple of them to see if um, they would all die in one hit, and most of them do. I would like to try hitting them with the pickaxe to see if this works. Um, it should, maybe. But let's find out. So I'm at 1401. If I just hit it and don't get XP, it goes down to it's still 1401. Remember, we started at 1401. And this works amazingly well, actually. Okay. This pick is never going to die, ever. This is possibly the easiest thing I've ever done. I'm going to get a lot of bows. That will kill them all at once if I want to, but we just repaired that pick. Which is never going to need repair ever again in its life. Let's get rid of these bows. It's a huge win. I just lost my crafting table. I got my crafting table back. Excellent. Hey, never mind. Let's go back to the house, and then I'm going to harvest some pumpkins, if there are any, and kind of decide on a plan for the future. First, I would kind of like to get this coal. That didn't work out. Let's just climb up, who cares? Back we go. This episode is being recorded on June the 24th, and will be uploaded on June the 25th. And there should be an episode out tomorrow as well, as long as this one does not take too long to upload itself. I wish hopefully it won't, will not. Okay, so as far as I'm aware, and I've looked this up a relatively large amount, the best level to mine at is 13 for diamonds, as far as I know. If anybody out there knows differently than I, please tell me. Um, also, if I need 23 levels for this, I'm going to be very upset. Good. 21 levels. And we will have efficiency 5, and breaking 3, fortune 3, and mending. I think that's all I need. Um, this is probably the best pick I can get, so I will do that. Um, I don't know why I wouldn't. So that can happen. This chest is amazingly full of things that I don't need. <clears throat> but I can't really find anything to take out. Oh well, whatever. Let's let's think here. So I need a little bit more wool to finish this half of the room. The other half is going to take just as long to carpet. So the carpeting is going to take a very long time, as is the pumpkins. As is, are the pumpkins. Can I not make these jumps if I'm sorry about it? No, we're good. The pumpkins are gonna take a while, the carpets are gonna take a while. I see no reason to not just start the series off 
Um, I think we should start attempting to find the things that I'm going to need. Um, and definitely start a mining operation. Which I guess I will start um, now, actually. So let's do that. Let's go start figuring out what we want to do for mining. Um, I think that makes the most sense. This is where I had originally begun. This is level 10. This is level 12, which I think is where I was going to dig. And the idea would be that I would just make this go straight out, and I would dig into the wall um, every two, which is just like this. And apparently I already did some of that, so let's just forget that. And go over here. One more over. Right here. Oops. I would just go, and then this would be... What did I do? Where are we? I'm confused. Oh! This used to be where the mining was. Where I did my mining. Interesting. Well, let's repair the floor. This is no longer the mining operation. How do I get out of here? <laughs> get me out of here. And yet, I do not know how. Very interesting. Okay, let's just forget that. What if we just start down here? Off we go. Shovel. This room, too bad. We'll just go through it. And immediately run into a cave. Absolutely brilliant. But it does have some coal in it. So far, my mining, mining operation is not coming to the greatest amount of fruition. Because there, there seems to be a ravine in the way, which is making it somewhat hard to do anything. <clears throat> what if we go the other way? I mean, run, run into anything the other way. I'm just trying to like set a standard of a mine here. Which is not going very well because I keep running into stuff. Like caves. Okay. This used to be easier. Let's us keep expanding this way. and think about how this is actually going to work. There's caves on both sides of me right now. This is getting annoying really quick. Great. This is the level I want to dig at. However, there are caves on both sides of me, which are not making this easy. I don't want to just dig right through them. I guess I'll just dig up until them, like this. Don't like the coordinates anymore. Yeah, I'll essentially just do this and then go back. And I'll start on the right once I get through that room. I'll 
I'll leave that out. I don't the dirt back. Cover for it. So I don't think that there's anything. Great. Then you go over two, so there's more room in between them. And then you go again. And then inevitably I'll run, run into the cave at some point. Got a torch, but then I, I think that should still be fine. If I just go up to the cave and stop. Yeah, they're just around. Go back. This pick has lost barely any durability. I should probably at some point make another portal. Um, just so that I can go to the nether at some point. Right, how are we doing on the cave? Good. Because I would like these to go quite deep just to save room, essentially, to some extent. Um, if that's possible, hold on. I'm going to pull up something on the other monitor if I can. While I'm digging. Which is proving to be quite difficult, actually. So these first couple of mines won't be quite as productive or efficient, but I think it would still be okay. I could also go the other way, actually. If I wanted to avoid the caves. That could be interesting. That might make more sense in reality. Oh, wait, I didn't get, did I get, yeah, I did. Okay. There we go, that's all. I could just go backward. It wouldn't make a lot of sense, but I could do it. Although, uh, once I get past these caves, it's not going to matter in any way, because there's so much more mining that has to be done than just these first couple tunnels. Oh, look what I found. A cave. Excellent. The dirt is way more exciting to see than the stones because it digs faster. You can get through a lot of it easier. And I am obviously low enough that I couldn't find diamond pretty much anywhere here.
So far, redstone has been the big find. And coal, of course. And with the grinder, I really do not have to worry ever again about um, the state of this big X. Because even if it were to get completely, you know, down to one HP, I can still bring it back quite easily, it seems. Uh, with that skeleton grinder, it seems that it seems like mobs give a, more XP by a lot than like mining coal does, and I guess that does make sense. Um, also, super super long term plan if this right because this mine shaft is going to inevitably be quite quite long, and I'm going to need a way to get back and forth quickly. So I'm thinking either rails or. Um, Ice, ice and boats, because I heard that that is fast. Like somebody told me once, that was like the fastest way to travel in Minecraft, which was boats on ice. So I may have to look into that as well. I don't know where I would get the ice, though. Although I do have a silk touch pick, so maybe. I might wander back to that village, um, the village where I got the mending book at some point and try to get more of them um, and put mending on a couple like I might make a diamond shovel and enchant it really well and then put mending on it because with the mob grinder it pretty much seems like I can heal anything to full that I want through experience so that could be something that, that I could look into that I, I don't have room in my inventory for this dirt for the uh Iron. Now I do. Let us head back. It also occurred to me that I could start filling in the item frames uh, on the um, what are they called? Uh, item frames on the chests. Out here, the first one is stone. I pulled up the list next to me. The next like five have nothing to do with anything, in my view. Uh, granite, polish, granite, diorite, polish, diorite, andesite, polish, andesite. Then we have grass block and dirt is the tenth one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That one's dirt. Uh, cobblestone is thirteen. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. I'm just gonna kind of start filling them in as I have them, I guess. Maybe it makes sense. Whatever, please pump and stack. Yeah, so a set of diamond tools maybe makes sense to invest in just for the speed. And then if I can get mending books on them all, um, that could be good. I think that does actually make sense. Uh, I'll probably do that. I could do that right now. Just to make them. I only have six diamonds, however. Down to my last eighteen torches. Oops. Let's put in some pumpkins, and I'll probably go upstairs and do a sheep harvesting. Those are coming together. Those, the pumpkins are going to finish, I think, before the carpet will. I don't have any carpet left, do I? I don't think so. Bop, bop. Don't need that. Um. Yeah, let's go up. There's stuff in here I actually don't need. Like, the gravel I don't need. Here's 
The saddles are important. We'll keep those. Bones I have infinite of. That I have infinite of. I don't need the dirt. I guess I will declare the series begun, I guess, and put the stone in the stone chest. Um, one, two, like, boom. That's the stone that we have collected. Well, I think the theory was I wasn't going to use anything from there, so hopefully I don't ever want that again. I guess. The silk touch pig. I might bring that with me. Is one of the items close to the start is grass block. What would you guys think um, about me spawning in one of each item to put in the item frame of the chest? Because I could just use a sign, right? And I feel like that would be easier than trying to run around and find everything just for the one. Let me know what you think about that. I would be inclined to do it. Uh, but let me know what you think in the comments. Um, but for now, I guess I will I'll go ahead and grab a grass block. Because I don't know what you guys are going to say. I would be in favor of doing that. I'll just do that. I would do that off camera. Uh, it would give the pumpkins a chance to grow, too, which would be nice. Give me a seed. Come on. Darn. There we go. High capacity farming here, everybody. That is growing yet. I will avoid that. Yeah, let me know. Oops, what am I doing? Let me know what you think about me just picking, um, just spawning in an item for each thing just to have on the item frame because, as I said, I could just use a sign instead, but I think the item frames are cool. I'll still get the wool for the item frame, or the um, leather for the item frames, but I think it would make more sense if I just. I think it would make more sense if I just spawned in an item for each one. Otherwise, oh, and it, it won't look complete for a long time because there's some stuff that I just won't be able to find as easily. I think I might just do that regardless of the comments. Because there aren't that many people to watch the series anyway. And I think I'll stop there with those. I'll breed a couple sheep. Let's say just want your wool. I think I will do that. I'll do a little bit of that after this episode. Um, try to have it maybe ready for the next episode. Maybe not. Um, I am kind of recording in a stretch here. Let's try to get some blue sort out. This may end up killing some of the baby ones also, which I'm not really that happy about, but right, if I do this right, I should actually yeah, because the crit should still just be a crit.
Let me breed some more of them. I'm going to need a large supply. One, blah, blah, blah. 51 leather. Okay, so the looting clearly works very well in the leather. Okay, that'll do on that. Front. Nice. There go the shears. Okay. Couple more sheep, then we're out up here. Let me move, let me move. Come on, thank you. Oh, I haven't any more wood for these item frames. 51 pieces of wool. Very happy with that. I don't I do not need these signs anymore. Goodbye. I'll buy these two shovels. I don't really need the seeds. I'll take these out right now. Yeah, I think a diamond axe would especially prosper um, from being created. I can keep it alive with the mending. <laughs> Hopefully, because I have an infinite source of experience, essentially. As I've mentioned before, very important in the series to conserve everything that I'm using, just because I'm going to need such vast quantities of it all at some point. More saplings. Saplings have been falling at a very high rate recently, which I like. Very nice if I can get unbreaking and efficiency onto an axe, although they cut fast enough that the efficiency isn't really that needed. I believe the village is. That way. If I remember right. That's one of the villages that I went to before I started this series, um, but that was like two years ago. Yeah, I basically I flew around in creative mode. Um, I've told this story many times, but just in case anybody's wondering like why I know exactly where the villages are, if you go back, why there's um, torches and whatever floating around the villages um, from broken stuff. I When I first created this world, I didn't know I was going to do this series on it, so I just kind of wandered around in creative um, with stuff, which led to creation of those things. But ever since we've been here by ourselves. In creative mode, as you know, I've been filming the whole, most of everything, a couple jump cuts um, with me, you know, time waiting, which I'll probably do before a lot of episodes if I have things to do. Oh, let me go, let me make a diamond axe, if that makes sense. Pop. I'll just, oops, keep that in my inventory. The grass block, let me go put that down, and then I'll... Grass block should be to the left of the dirt. Right here. There we go. Let me test out the sacks and the pumpkins. On which it works quite well. But yeah, this axe is going to save me quite a lot of time, I imagine.
Excellent. Boom. Okay, let's get that card, because that has been annoying me to no end. And pumpkins have actually gotten pretty far in this room. Excellent. This might be enough carpet. I say this every time, but might be enough carpet to finish the job with over here. We will see. Only a couple more rows to go. Yeah, I think we do. We should, I think. Oh. Come on, mouse. Behave. doing excellent the last row we do have enough boom down over here I guess I'll begin here. Ah. Nice. This room is really coming along beyond my initial expectations for it. So that's really great. Let me make some more item frames and then I will head out of here. Many sticks will be harmed in the making of these item frames. Yes, I'm certain this is the most efficient way to do this. Great, it worked. Whether that was efficient or not, I don't know, but it, it ended up working, so I'm going to roll with it. This should be most of the item frames I need for now until I in inevitably expand this place. Um, I might be wrong. The scale in here is actually kind of hard to see. But this should get me most of the way down here. Indeed it did. Nice, everything in here has an item frame now. I will be filling those in with their appropriate items when I have time, which could be a while from now, but what will happen probably. Some point. Um, let's cook the meat, I guess. Why not? For your experience, I'm going to sign off for now, everybody. Next episode, we may go back to the village uh, to try to do a bit more trading. But I will see you all then. Until then.